invitations to all. Take two. Hello and salutations to all. Welcome to News Edition of Forward Pass Thinking Audio Content. I'm your host, as always, John Ders. And joining me, as always, is Ross Dog. Ross Dog, say hi. Yo, 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 yo. Hi. Uh, no yeah. special guest this week. Although, I always think of Ross Dog as a special guest, but no special guest this week. But we do wow. have freezing cold takes on next week to talk about all your bad takes. Not yours, Ross Dog, but like the collective yours. Right. What do you, how do you mean? Like, you know, he's the guy on Twitter that goes around telling everybody that they're dumb for saying stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you have him before? Yeah, he was on uh, at the beginning of the year. Now we're going to get him before the playoffs to get all your, you know, wow, I think I know how the NFL works takes. Ah, uh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Cool. cool yeah, guy. he's a cool guy. Um, let's get into these games. I don't know how I feel about these games. Week 17 is always I a weird I looked at them. Um, I don't feel great. I'm glad that you got your Christmas miracle last week because it would have been real hard to do it this week. You know, um, the real Christmas miracle was the Seahawks beating the Cowboys after the Saints beat the Falcons. We're still in the playoffs, baby. Yeah, well, you, you don't know, care about that. No, your team beat the um, Browns. I actually want to. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you about the Seahawks before we even dive into all of this because okay. I feel like the Seahawks right now are at like a tipping point and. I, this is totally not going to happen, but on, uh, what is it, what, what's Black Monday, right? Is that what they call it when all those coaches get fired? Yeah. I think Pete Carroll's, like, kind of maybe on the hot seat for it, man. Like, really? I think, yes, I think the I've Seahawks seen that, I think are ready to retire. clean house. And, yeah, and that, and that could be it, too. Like, maybe not fired, but I'd... I think that there is a high possibility of them parting ways. Here's why Somehow. they won't fire Pete Carroll. I'm going to give you a list of teams that could fire their head coach. Yes. Jets, Dolphins, Bengals, Bills, Browns, Titans, Colts, Texans, Raiders, Broncos, Orange Skins, Giants already did, Lions, Bears, Buccaneers and the Cardinals have already announced their parting ways with uh, Bruce Arians. So, Jesus. Pete Carroll's better than who you're going to get with in that yes. market. Yes. Yeah. So absolutely. He's, he's, so he has I, 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 I hear it. I just like I don't know about all that Earl Thomas stuff, and I mean Russell Wilson is good enough to build like anything around. So. You know, yeah, you I talked to uh, like... Four Past Thinking's money guy, uh, e-, e Money, before the season. We were at a Buffalo okay. Wild Wings free plug, guys. Send us money. Or just send us wings. Uh, That's fine, too. Ooh. You don't like it there? I'm a Hooters guy. No, I'm a Hooters, I'm a Hooters guy, Hooters too, guy. but uh, E Money's too classy. Okay, fair enough. Russell Wilson has accounted for 35 touchdowns this season. That's 97.2% of the Seahawks' offensive touchdowns in 2017. My point That's here insane. is that I told uh, E-Money in the beginning of the year that Russell Wilson's about to transcend into his Aaron Rodgers state of his career where yes. his team around him sucks, but he's yep. like a top three quarterback, so like he'll kind of always be in the playoff mix. But if they could build a team around him, and it's not like they haven't been pouring uh, assets into the offensive line. They just really haven't hit. Dwayne Brown seems to be doing well, but everything else hasn't really worked. But um, I don't know. There, there'll be a Super Bowl contender every year just because of Russell Wilson. But I don't know. I don't know. What my point here is really. I, I, I don't. I mean, I can, I can just like sh- straight off agree with you on that analogy because it's true. Like Russell Wilson will be able to do that pretty much with any talent like it's not it's not going to matter and i mean you'll have years where you know you yeah he might not make the playoffs Aaron this year but this with his year. nine wins like, yeah i mean look it, he has it, the most the, uh consecutive uh winning seasons to start a career he started with six winning records to start his career that's the record and you know without russell wilson that's a four one team yes yes and and I mean, we talked about it, I don't know how many weeks ago, but the the defensive reign that the Seahawks had imposed upon the rest of the NFL is 
over. Over. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not like it's not like almost over. It's over. But yeah. you know. Um. But you brought Anyways. up Earl Thomas. Uh. Yeah. On Christmas Eve, I think it was uh, our buddy Bootleg yeah. Fantasy texted me while I was eating Christmas Eve dinner about how Earl Thomas said all that stuff with the Cowboys. I a I think that conversation happens constantly. There are just reporters there for this one. And B, you know, the Seahawks kind of seem to be the team that likes to be under this kind of crazy, you know, the locker room is kind of not... In disarray! Yeah, they they, they thrive under it. So I, I kind of enjoy that they aren't seeing Kumaya and stuff together. Yeah, wasn't that like the whole Russell Wilson and Sierra stuff? Too. Wasn't that in the locker room as well? Well, Golden Tate was traded away because allegedly uh, Russell right. Wilson's wife, you know, That's got right. to know Golden Tate a little bit too well. Allegedly. Yeah, they went skiing in Washington. I don't know, man. I allegedly we don't need to get into rumors. Um, <laughs> anyway, do you want to talk about the games? Uh, Cincinnati is traveling to Baltimore, where Baltimore is a 10-point favorite. And that line's right, so I'm going to go with Baltimore, but I'm not betting on this game. Marvin Lewis is probably out. Did I read? Yeah, I read the Bengals' name. So uh, Marvin Lewis is probably out. And, you know, I is Baltimore locked into a playoff spot? Uh, no. If a thousand they, things I go think, wrong, Harbaugh I could think, be out, I think. Yeah, like, if I, they think, don't make the playoffs, I think they're I one think of those he, teams that controls their own destiny, though. Yeah, they need to win this game, and he's probably safe. Uh, do you have uh, Baltimore, too? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, was, I was thinking to myself, is it too late into the season where I can ask Jonders if the Bengals are are good? Like, are they are they good yet? Like, I'm just not sure. But um, It yeah, seems they like suck. maybe they had, like, a win-one for the Gipper type of game last week where it's, like, Marvin Lewis's last home game probably ever. Yeah, yeah. And the Lions yeah, no, have kind but, of been a but, mess all year. I mean, we've yeah, they, bet on them, suck, we've though. lost money, we've won money, but the Lions have kind of been interesting. Right around where they should. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, yeah, Baltimore. Green Bay takes on those lines this week in Detroit, where the Lions are six and a half point favorites. I kind of like Detroit here, but when the games don't have I any merit... I also like Detroit. Yeah, they, the game doesn't mean anything, right? So I can't bet on it, because like, mm-hmm. what do I know? We were just talking about you know Golden Tate. Is he going to go ball out? Is you know I don't know. Brett Hundley is probably going to play really well because he needs to put good tape up after all the bad tape he's put up. Yeah. Matt yeah. Stafford's not going to get paid less money next year. <laughs> I'm going to take Detroit yeah. for this game, but I'm not going to put money on this game. Like, I'm for like yeah. yeah for like our little project we do here. I'm taking Detroit, but I'm not going to touch this game gambling with a ten foot pole. Ditto. Hey, what's the best Christmas gift you got? Um, well, Adam bought me a Black Sabbath T-shirt. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. I got a lot of beer. That's cool. Um, All right, I'm I'm disinterested at this point. Um, we had a bet that we've talked about. Oh, I got nauseum. the Daruk Amiibo. Oh, that dude, sweet. that's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the only champion amiibo that you have? That's the only champion I got, but but I think after playing through all of Breath of the Wild, I I like all of the um I hate the the bird Ravale Ravala Ravali. Ravali, yes. I hate him, can't stand him. Um I got the hots for Mifa. Um, yes. And then yeah, the other one's babe. like a, a mother figure. And yeah. then Daruk's just a, Daruk's just a badass. He just tears shit up with you, man. It's dope. It, it was like one of my favorite, um, uh, I don't know. Before this game, I've always liked the Goron better than the Zora because, like, they're just, like, chill kind of party dudes, you know? Yeah. But yep, in this game, absolutely. I think I liked, in Breath of the Wild, I think I liked the Zora more than the Goron. Not that I dislike well, the, the Goron, but me The Zora boss, like, sequence before you get into um, the Divine Beast is, like, the greatest thing of all time. Oh, it was yeah. so much fun. I I was like, it was the first, it was the first boss battle that I had fought. Yeah, in the me game. too. I went to the Zora's uh, Kingdom first. I was just blown Domain. away. Like I was, yeah. I was literally in shock. Anyway, I did that for the uh, first yeah. time. I didn't beat it the first time, but that was on my like the end of my fifteen hour like binge play when I first bought the game. 
All right. Yeah, anyways. I think I got to, I got to there right around my like second pickup because I did not <laughs> play for 15 hours straight. But anyways, yeah, football. Go ahead. Buffalo travels to Miami. Buffalo's a two and a half point favorite. We need Miami to win to win our season long bet that the Dolphins yes. will win seven games. Yes. Um, we wouldn't I, win it. We just push it, which just feels as good as winning now. <laughs> 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 God, this has been so agonizingly awful. It's that such bet. a f- fucking roller coaster. Oh my god! Can we? Ne- can you just remind me next time I want to put money on Jay Cutler? Just be like, dude, just think about it for like five minutes, and then I would not put money on Jay Cutler. Yes, but right. God, dude, I was I was so amped up with you. I was ready. I was ready to to ride him into the sunset. But you know, I was so hyped on Cutler. I'm taking yeah. Miami here just to. T- kind of give us good juju, I guess. So I am too, but not even not even with the season long bet in mind. Um, the Bills have to, or if the Bills win, they have a chance at making the playoffs. I think if Tennessee loses, and it's bullshit that Tennessee is in control of that because they're a terrible football team. Yeah, I was looking anyway, at the uh, quarterbacks that have the lowest passer rating when passing for more than twenty air yards, and Marcus uh-huh. Mariota is third on that list. Yeah. It's 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 anyways. Yeah, okay. I hate, I, I, yeah. But um, the the Bills are going to be such the Bills here and not win this game that has playoff implications on it. But also, home dogs. Like, home dogs. Home dog. Home dogs is going to win, man. Ross dog loves home dogs. Uh, Carolina and Atlanta. Atlanta is a four point favorite. I really need them not to win for the Seahawks to make the playoffs. If, the, if Atlanta wins, it's out of Seattle's control. Um, so Carolina has to win. Yep, for the Seahawks to get in. And So if you're Carolina, what do you want to happen? Do you want Atlanta in or do you want Seattle in? Because the Panthers are going to be you want Atlanta. You want Atlanta in for sure. Seattle's a way more dangerous playoff team, I well, would say. Russell Wilson's more dangerous than Matt Ryan. And you can at me, people listening, whatever, I don't care. But I think Atlanta is the better team. They have the better running game, and Julio Ooh. Jones is a freak. Why? Why are they still not passing to Julio Jones? Like I just don't understand. I don't. I don't get how that offense works. Did you see the play on Sunday where like he catches the ball over the head and has the presence of mind to try to like put the ball farther back as he's falling forward? He's a I freak, man. It's unbelievable what he does. Um, can I'm I taking. Make, can I make Carolina. fun of you for something though? Please. I'm going to make fun of you for saying presence of mind because I can't stand the turn of phrase presence of mind. Am I saying it wrong or is it just annoying to you? No, 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 no. You're saying it right, but I feel like. You know what I really hate? I hate when people tell a story and say for some reason five times, and then for some Ooh. reason he did this. That's my least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, like who? Who? You don't have to name names, but did this happen to you recently? Um, I had an and, and ex girlfriend who it? did that constantly. Now, when anybody else does it, it just drives me up a wall. Uh, Probably not yeah. the ex that you're thinking of, a different one, but still. Uh, yeah, no, the ex is irrelevant to me, but I see why it bothers you now. Yeah, it just God, it was every single day. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird podcast. Uh, you, what are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> it was uh, every day, oh. Ross Dog. Do, do you have Atlanta <laughs> or Carolina? That's right. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, why? Jerry why Richardson's they... out. P. Diddy's coming in. How about that? Yeah, I love it. All right. You're taking Carolina. New Orleans at Tampa Bay. Uh, New Orleans is a seven point favorite. I'm not sure why. That should be higher, right? I don't know if it should be higher or lower because how many minutes is Drew Brees going to play? Like one drive worth of minutes? I think they're locked into the four spot. Oh, you know what? No. If um, the 49ers beat the Rams, they can go up to the three spot, which, spoiler alert, I think will happen. Oh, my God. Are, are, you, on, are you on the Jimmy G train? Like I was trying to eat a bet boring? on the f- – no, okay, here's the thing. I love Jimmy G, right? 
No, I'm not betting on that Rams game. It's a trap. People don't bet on the Rams game. But I was trying to tell you to last week bet on Jimmy G against the Jags, and you were like, "You don't trust the Jags. You have no faith in the Jags." I was like, "No, I have faith and trust in Jimmy G." And then you talked me into the over. Fine, it hit. But I would like it to be known that Jimmy GQ hit the over by him damn self. Uh, Fair enough. I mean, I guess if you want, like, to really prove your point. I did lose money betting on the Jags. You did but, bet on the Jags without me. Yeah, that's right. But, okay. I I don't understand how good defense doesn't shut down a quarterback who's played realistically Look, two and a half Jimmy, full games. Jimmy GQ is going to ruin my life for the next seven years. Just let me enjoy him for this one last week I can enjoy him. Can we do that? Can we just let Jonders enjoy Jimmy GQ before he's coming to Seattle with the 49ers and beating the Seahawks? Yes. All right, thank you. You're We're welcome. talking about New Orleans. I'm taking New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm also taking New Orleans. All right. Yeah, New Orleans for me, too. Jacksonville at Tennessee. Tennessee's a three-point favorite. Give me Jacksonville all day. I don't like Marcus Mariota. I think he's a bad quarterback. I think that Blake Bortles is okay. But their what was defense, the spread on this? Minus three, Tennessee at home. I love Jacksonville. Me too. I think. Um, I think if I were to bet on any game, it's this game. Because Tennessee is going to play to win, but they're not good enough to beat the Jacksonville defense. You know, at the end, uh, or actually all throughout that Jacksonville 49ers game that I just referenced, um, the Jacksonville Jaguars were, like, getting into fights and getting ejected. Weeks after talking about how immature the Seahawks are for fighting and stuff. But, you know, that's none of my business. My point here is I I, want to stay away from this game and see how they respond to kind of – because their defense got worked over by Jimmy G. So I want to see – Yeah, what what happened there, man? Jimmy G is just really good at football, man. God. Okay. Uh, mm. All right. I promised I wouldn't. Anyways, uh, Bears yeah. fans should be really upset that Mar- or that Mitch Trubisky is their quarterback because Deshaun Watson and Jimmy G are just really good at football. Houston, they have Deshaun Watson, are going to Indianapolis, where Indianapolis is a four-point favorite. Um, I just give me what team you like, and we'll we'll move on. I'm taking Indy minus four. I'll take Houston. Oh, first game Plus we differ four. on. Uh, Cleveland, trying to scave off a 0-16 season, goes to Pittsburgh, where Pittsburgh's a 10-and-a-half yeah, half point favorite. Um, you know, in our backyard in Chicago, that was kind of the game mm-hmm. that they needed to win, but they didn't. Well, I watched um, – so I was watching the Seattle game on the local Fox affiliate, WFLD. I wasn't watching Red Zone, and at halftime, uh, the local – sports guy from Fox News giving his highlights of the Cleveland Bears game was really entertaining. He's like, and Miles Garrett got a pick six, but wait, there's a flag on the field. Next up, Betty Cunningham goes down the field deep. Oh yeah, let's go Bears. So then up next, Jerry Jordan Seinfeld Howard doing... goes in for a second touchdown of the game. Was it, was it Jerry Seinfeld doing highlights for the I game? Think, yeah, I don't know. I was like, dude, that guy's like just there on Christmas Eve having a good time. Look, good for him. Yeah, I, good for that guy. I just like when people are like obvious parodies of themselves. Like that guy was like just the, like the most local sports guy. <laughs> and he was having fun with it. Good for him. Uh, I'll take Pittsburgh. I will also take Pittsburgh. Cleveland doesn't stand a chance. The New York Jets travel to New England to take their take on their you know not their rivals, their big brothers, the New England Patriots. For the Patriots, 15 and a half point favorites. I think I'm saying yeah, this, this is one. The, this is this is the big brother that like will take you out into the backyard and want to play catch, but purposely just try and hit you. You know what? You know what? Like, you know what's a classic older brother move? Like telling your I'm, kid brother to like, hey, like I bet you can't go get me uh, those potato chips in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> And then, like, when they would come back, and they'd be like, "Oh man, that was thirty-five seconds." And then you like, they would have something to aspire to next time. Um, I don't know how long that would actually work. How long did that work on you? Uh, it worked. Yeah, it worked for a while on me. It worked for a while on my little brother too. Got to pass these things down, man. 
Yeah, you're right. I'm taking the Patriots here, but I'm passing on this game. I don't think I'm going to bet this weekend. I don't think so either because I'm just going to save what I'm up by to try and cover my Miami bet. <laughs> oh, and man. if I win, then it's all gravy. The Washington Ornskins travel to the New York Giants where the Washington Ornskins are three-point road favorites, and that means Ross Dog will be taking the Giants as three-point home dogs. Oh, yeah. Really? Wow. I'm taking no, the Ornskins. No, no? no I'm, taking, <laughs> I'm taking the Ornskins, too. <laughs> What happens when Trump gets impeached? Do we have a new name for them? I think we... Ooh, we can call them Roja Skins. Hey, I came up with a new character. Do you want to hear it? Yes. It's, it's, uh, it's Gay Trump. All right? Let's hear him. We're going to be so tired of winning. That's it. <laughs> it I, I'm instantly enamored with it. I, my favorite I thing think, about it is that everybody's offended by it. Like, there's you, nobody who's not offended by you, it. You really need to flesh it out. <laughs> no, it's just that. It's that. that. That's the whole character. It's just. It's just that. Okay. It's. Uh, um, you're a nasty woman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Chicago. What, what were we talking about? The. the uh, red yeah, we don't need to talk the, more the about giants. the orange skins and the giants. We can go on to Chicago at Minnesota, where Minnesota is an eleven and a half point favorite. Um, I guess they need to win to keep home field advantage, which would be throughout the playoffs because they can host the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl's in Minneapolis this year. Wow, what about that? Uh, Sam Bradford's going to come back. He could practice this week, but <laughs> they'd be nuts to pull Case Keenum. Are you so sick that? of hearing? Are you sick of hearing people uh, continue the storyline about the Vikings and possibly playing in Minnesota for the Super Bowl? Because I can't stand it. Endlessly anymore. interested in it. I was not being ironic when I brought it up. I am just endlessly oh, enamored being... by it. Yeah. Uh, well, why? It's I don't know. It's it's it because <laughs> it's like one. It's not one of thirty fields they pick from. It's like one of like. 10 unless you build a new stadium which the vikings recently did so because they built a new stadium they get a super bowl and just for everything to line up the way that it has the one year that they have the super bowl the odds are pretty you know small it's interesting Uh, although i recently took a quiz online that said i uh i show signs of mid-level autism so maybe if you want to throw that in there i don't know um I'm being really offensive today on the podcast. This is the most offensive I've ever been. <laughs> you, well, I will say Richard thought you were pretty offensive last week, too. What did I say but, last week? Nothing in particular, I guess. Uh, just, you know. Well, I didn't say anything. Was he offended by Santa? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Richard, Richard's just a bad hombre. Okay. Um, I'm taking Minnesota. Um, I'm taking Minnesota as well. And I wanted to say something to you about you being mean. So about Big our Rich quarterback. texted you. You're, you're mean. Yes. And said that wow, Jondres is being offensive. He didn't text me. Um, I think uh, yes, yes, he did do that. And I would like to point out that I did take a quiz online. All right, everybody. Where where did you take this quiz again? I googled autism quiz. This, none of this is making it to the podcast. What? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Why did you Google that? Because, you know, I was looking up the symptoms and thought, like, hey, like, that sounds like me. You know, I don't like I like I don't like to break from my, my schedule. I'm fascinated by numbers. I'm an excellent driver. You know. Huh. Okay, yeah, maybe. I, I, I wouldn't put it past you. I they suppose. say that a lot of people are on the spectrum. So... I think most of the people I know are on the spectrum, including myself. I think that's how everybody feels, though. I don't know. Um, I'm going to start donating money to some autism research or something. Um, that would be nice of you. So Dallas. what I was going to say was, you're no, you're being you're being a mean guy about Mitchell Trubisky. He's not that bad. I think if John Fox is gone, you got to give him a chance. It's not fair. This is like. Jeff Fisher and uh, Jared Goff. I mean... Okay, but I, I saw the future, Ross Dog. I saw the future on Festivus. That was I actually know, the day before ancient, Festivus. 
and, and, and Jeff Fisher is going to be the coach of the Bears, so it's only going to get worse. Did I text you that? No, I think, I think you, told, you told me that here. Or maybe you did. I can't remember. But I, I really liked it at first because I think it's funny. But then when you take the humor away, it just makes you sad. <laughs> oh, no, I think this was on one of our phone calls I told you about it. Yeah, but, yeah, Jeff Fisher, next coach of the Chicago Bears. Lock it up. Um, yeah. I will take Philadelphia three-point home dog against Dallas. Philadelphia three-point home dogs against – yeah, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, Philly's on the road. Are they? I think so. There's, there's no way. There's no way Dak Prescott is favored by three points over Nick Foles. No. Let me. Wait. I guess. Yeah, Philadelphia's at home. Oh god. There's a line guess... later that's really gonna mess with your head. But you have to like put in mind that Vegas is like guessing that some of these starters aren't gonna play. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's the Chiefs line, and I I wanted to bet on that, right? Is it the Chiefs line? No, I'm talking about San Francisco at Los Angeles Rams. Yeah, that line threw me off, and then the Chiefs line threw me hard. What's the Chiefs line. Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. But Patrick it's Mahomes insane. has been named the starter. I'm gonna put Marky down for Philadelphia, and we're gonna move on to Oakland at. This is the one game I would bet on. Oakland at Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers are favored by eight. I think this is the only game you could bet on this week. And give me those Chargers, baby. They're how many point favorites? Eight. I want. Why is that not seven? I don't know because they don't want us to bet. Yeah, on New Year's that's Eve. exactly why. That's exactly why. And you know what? Maybe it's better that way. Because I'm gonna be drunk and like this, it'll be irrelevant because I'm gonna not be even drunk at like three thirty. Um, Are you drinking right alcohol right now? No, that's water. Arizona uh, at Seattle. Seattle's a nine and a half point favorite. There's just nothing I can do with this game. I'll take Seattle no. here, but nine and a half is like three points too many. It's. I think it's like six points too many. It doesn't make any sense. It's not six points too many. Five. Four. Fine. What are we even... Why are we haggling about the spread? <laughs> it's like a thing a new we bit? do once, once every month, maybe. I, I complain about what a spread should be, and you tell me that it's stupid to argue about it. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, we're both taking Seattle, I presume. Yeah. Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes go up against Denver Broncos and whoever their quarterback is, probably Brock Osweiler, right? The Denver mm-hmm. Broncos are minus three and a half. And that's a stay away game. I'll take Kansas I don't know. City I, for Brock this. Brock Osweiler is bad. Yeah, I guess it's just kind of the wild card of Pat Mahomes. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm taking the Chiefs, though, too. Yeah, me too. Okay, sweet. Here's the last game. Jimmy GQ. Versus the L.A. Rams. Jimmy GQ, three-point favorite. I just don't understand how after everybody sees him play for one game. Yep. And then It's not one game. He's won like five games this year. He's undefeated as a starter, Ross Dog. He's won two Super Bowls in his first four years. He's won five games in a row. I think so. He's won all of his starts. That's a fact. So three. This year, but he also won all of his starts with the Patriots. Or two. He's won two games. He's won... No. You're drunk, man. Maybe. Anyways. Um, I'm taking Jimmy GQ, baby! No. that's It's, it's a trap. We'll take, take the, the Rams. Rams, then. All right, good for you. I am. I am. I'm not going to bet any money this weekend unless I find an over-under that I like and I'm scanning and I don't. Yeah. Nope. I got nothing. Should I leave all that stuff in or should I edit some of this podcast? I think you should let the waters flow, Jonders. Yeah. Let the waters flow. All right. I'm just going to let it all in and that's a lie. I'm going to edit some of it. But it'll be fun for the listener to figure out what <laughs> I edited it out. So, yeah. <laughs> And it'll be fun um, for you to listen later or wait for Big Rich to text you and see what he's offended by to see what I left in and what I edited it out. 
<laughs> I don't like this game. This is a new game we should play. <laughs> oh, 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 I have a new segment. Oh, please. Um, it's called... Uh, was this pitched by Big Rich? No, no. It, okay. it was pitched by you. Um, it, I have no clever name for it, but the weather segment. And oh, it's yeah. Really, it's really, really, really fucking cold outside right now. <laughs> Is it like three degrees out where we are? It was it was so cold this morning. I got in my car. It said negative four, and I'm like, holy <laughs> shit! That is cold. There's a there's always that a is- uh, a uh, a thermometer thing by a bank by where we live off of Wall Street mm-hmm. and Forty First, mm-hmm. kind of uh, for yeah Forty First by Ninety uh, Third there. And uh, my favorite is when it says plus 41. zero degrees. Yeah, forty one. Who do my- you know that has ever called forty one Forty First? I just did. <laughs> okay. Go, sorry, go on. No, I just always like it when that sign says plus zero degrees. And I saw that the other day. I was like, yeah, nice. Plus zero degrees. Oh, wow. Like yeah. yeah. Not but, negative um, zero, plus zero. But how is it? Uh, yeah. Why can't it just be neutral zero? No plus or minus. I don't know. I think maybe just the but, big zero on that temperature thing would be de- depressing. It's plus zero. <laughs> so um, it was it was so cold, though. Car read negative four. And as I was driving to work, it went to negative seven, and then to negative nine, and the temperature was going backwards. Well, that's yeah. Well, because it's negative four in your garage. No, 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 no. My car's outside. Katie oh. gets the garage. Duh. <laughs> gets the garage. Duh. What, what do you What do you know about anything? Nothing about women. Nothing type. about that. You know. You know absolutely nothing about what I do. Wow. All right. Well, let me eat sometime, Ross. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. What? That's not true. You know a lot about what I do. <laughs> you you don't you don't get uh see, you know. Hey, do you want to play Splatoon a, in 20 minutes? You're not a minutes? husband like me. What? Do you want to play Splatoon in 20 minutes? I don't have my Switch with me and uh, yeah, Katie, I asked Katie to bring my Switch to um Where are her you? mom's house. I'm oh, okay. in my car driving. I'm actually in Dyer I thought right maybe now. you were still traveling for the holidays. Uh, no, we don't travel. That's good. Yeah, don't do that. Yes. Yeah. All right. We actually well, had everyone over at our house on Christmas. It was very lovely. I didn't have to leave. Well, once again, my invite was lost in the mail. All right. Nice to know. Yes. Um, thank you, Ross Dog. Uh, make sure you subscribe thank to Forward Pass Thinking on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, Google Play. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Jonders FPT. Uh, make sure you look for Ross Dog playing Splatoon. His name is Ross Dog. Uh, yeah, that's right. And I'm Jonders. So if you ever see a Jonders and a Ross Dog, it's probably 100 percent us. There's I doubt I really doubt there's another Jonders Ross Dog combo <laughs> out there. Yeah, I, maybe uh, there is. Maybe we have like some really diehard fans out there. That would be cool. All right, bye everybody.